So circuit training is another idea of how you can structure your training with a few basic exercises. We're going to do a five minute circuit, really no excuses, right? And if you've got more energy, then of course you can repeat the circuit a couple of times. And you could also consider changing the weight of the clubs each time you train the circuit. Now, one thing to bear in mind when we're training with this open style of club swinging and training with relatively light clubs, the goal is on longevity and feeling good, increasing your well-being and energy levels. So, one way to gauge if your, your training has been um, correct for you is the way you feel after the training. Yeah? If you feel better than you did before you start training, then it's done its job. That's it. You don't need to do any more for today. If by the contrary you feel a bit drained and tired or achy the following day as well, then you've done too much that day. So remember that and adjust the training correspondingly. So you'll be working on your vitality, your mobility, but you're building strength and endurance at the same time, just in a very slow but sustainable way. Okay? So the circuit is 10 exercises each done for 30 seconds. I've got my little timer here to set up and beep. The first exercise is marching. So we're going to start with the feet under the hips, right? And we are ready. Three, two, one, and go. Boom. So when you're ready, you add the knee lift. Remember that we're working on opposite arm and leg to get the most of this brain training that we're doing at the same time. If you want, look at the back club. It's also okay to just look ahead, find the stability. Remember, no rushing. I'm able to talk during this video because I'm training at a low level of intensity. Good, next swing, we're going to do a swipe followed by an overhead swing. Boom, all the way up. So swipe and then go all the way up, really mobilizing the shoulders. Whoops, I did one more. No problem. You can always adjust. From here, we're going to go behind the back. So here, boom. Engaging the chain of muscles we usually neglect. Behind the back. Really good to add those. Really good brain gymnastics at the same time. Getting that coordination happening here. Now I'm talking and swinging, doing too many things at once. Next, order, crossing pendulum, catch into an overhead lunge. To the Y position, return to order. We try to alternate the crossing on the hands on each cycle. to go to the depth that suits you. Back crawl. So boom. Follow the club with the eyes. Try to keep the club in the prolongation of your arm. Remember, plenty of leg drive. Side bending as well a little bit. This becomes a little bit tough. Boom, back to order. Shield press, back circle. Shield press, back circle. Yeah, so we're really building the foundations for you to move better and become stronger and feel great. Order, press into the flag, and then swing into a squat and pull the bow. Swing back into place, press in front of the body, swing to the other side, step, pull the bow in that squat position. So we try to time it, we catch, 
into the bottom of our squat. Yeah. Small arm circles. We reverse the grip. Arms out to the side. Smile. Yeah. Keep the knees nice and soft. Small circles. Five or so one way and then the other way. Yeah. Here we're adding an element of perturbation because the clubs are swinging and we have to provide extra stabilization. Stabilization, sorry, while doing circles. Good. We grip. Now we're going to do side to side swing, but we're going to add a full circle in front of the body. Boom. So it's a big front loop. Follow the club with the eyes. Use the leg drive. Try to feel the gravity pulling you. Yeah? Last one is the reverse eight. Look at the club. Release the foot if needed to be able to twist. Side to side, doing good guys and girls, nearly done. Here you go. Try to stop my timer. It's very enthusiastic that the circuit is over.